Welcome back, amazing people, and for Ed Gaming Gear, another exciting episode with more Pikmin 4 on the Nintendo Switch, and welcome to it. So last time, because uh, we have uh, finished our end golf, end golf castle, we're able to encounter Purple Pikmin, and we're able to defeat the, the Water Rape, which uh, did make a return from Pikmin 2, which we uh, see uh, of one of these mechanics from before, because that is the Water Rape that we already defeated. And the one that I already say was that the Plasma Rape, that is the, the, the final boss of Pikmin 3, which we already did to down by a long shot now we, we can like um like continue on and feel free to explore the uh, the area around here in this whole base well technically this uh you to look, look like a, a gorgeous area to explore around here in this uh base wow thanks a ton and you bloom it a whole lot of pitman flowers they're so beautiful okay so he's giving you 30 raw material okay so that's one of the uh, mission complete but you can't really be done, right? This world needs more flowers. Keep blooming, you gotta keep blooming. Okay, so we gotta keep blooming more of a free hunter. All right, well let's keep them coming. All right, if we're if we're able to get more raw materials, it's uh, best of luck that we we keep blooming more flowers to each pitman. So uh, now let's see. And if it, okay, now we can go talk to the Mika because we did save the children. You rescue all three of them. That's a uh, wonderful. I can't uh, thank you enough. Okay, so we're able to get 50 raw materials and completed that mission. I mean, we deserve it. I'm disappointed with myself for being a, such an unreliable supervisor. But I can take responsibility now for getting my students at home safe. Alright, now moving on. So, uh, we done talking to Mika and we got here. It's, uh, let's look at this map real quick. So, is there anything else that these finishes? Okay, so... I see there are, are just only two of each captains that we we already finished talking to. Now I want to go ahead and take a look at uh, my notes so far because are we able to uh, to encounter several other brand new creatures? Okay, so let's view at Pitlopedia and see what kind of new creatures that we encountered. Okay, so this is a new creature. Well, yeah, I was right before because this is the uh, fiery ball black with did make a return for Pitman too. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and observe it. Well, we'll go ahead and throw Pitman care right at it. Okay, so he started waking up. All right, and it started sleeping. Okay, so when I see this a blazing beastie, I get a rush of excitement. It's easy to lose a track of time while staring and fixated at the flame and shouted form of the fiery bubble blast. It appears that brains are to mine agent the molten landscape from an era before our earliest ancestors. Okay, I can see that. All right, well, let's go close this. And let's see, actually, I think we have uh, not done observing recently, so we he got here is the, the lightning strike, the ice blast, and the bomb. So let's uh, test out with lightning, see what happens. So we can stun it with the lightning, so we can ice blast it by freezing at it. Okay, well, it's kind of cool, actually. Okay, and let's see what happens if we bomb this uh, fireball black. Well, we'll go and kill a, a fireball black. Okay, but it still lives. Okay, so we already knew this enemy from Pikmin 3. So this here is the Whipton Ball Boy. So that did make a return for Pikmin 3. So we already knew about the Atus Blowhog. So that new Blowhog can eat Pikmin now. Okay, and these brand new creatures. So this is a Moldy Dwarf Ball Boy. Okay, well, I'll never even see a, a Moldy Dwarf Ball Boy in my life. Okay, so I think these guys are called the uh, the Wally Hop. I don't think they're called Wally Wall. So these are just okay. So I thought they're gonna be called Wally Wall, but now they're called Wally Hop now. Okay, my mistake. Well, if you forget what, forgive me what I'm just saying because I'm saying Wally Wall instead of saying Wally Hop. Okay, well, yeah. Now these are so we got you a yellow Wally Hop and a the the original Wally Hop. So both two different designs that we see in every one of these pictures. So I think we got here is the one that's called the Manta Hop. So that's the end of the Manta Hop from Seafloor Resort. Okay, so we so this here is called a Pearly Clan Clamp, which I already knew. So uh, we got here is the Water Wraith. So we got the Water Wraith, and that's another brand new creature. Okay, so we got here is the Chili Hop, the the Withering Blowhog. 
Okay, so we go to Zerta. I did not even pay close attention. So this withering blowhard can can breathe fire right out of his trunks. Which is quite interesting to me. And this brand new creature is called a Startled Spore. Okay, so um, let's just go over with notes. So what is this Startled Spore we're looking at here? So these are these don't just uh, mimic a growth of mushroom for the fun of catching you by surprise. They also use the opportunity to spread poison around quite indiscriminately. But the vast just for the, this little darling idiosyncratic method for uh, catching prey. We could have learned from the, the way nature embraces the such unique and varied creatures. I see. Okay, so looking at these, the design of these creatures. So the guy is a creeping chrysanthemum and the star of sport with these two different design creatures. So that's um that's far as I can see. So that's uh, one of the other brand new creatures, and I think I miscalculated. So I think this um this fish creature was named the Prickle Puff. That's what I miscalculated in my head because I wasn't quite getting the member of studying on my uh, my head of knowing my enemies or what I know so much of. I just love how science and technology make the impossible possible. Well, yeah, I mean, that's how you say it. Like, hee hee, let's get started. Okay, so we got you, it's a tough stuff plus plus. Which does cost a lot of materials. Now, let's see, what we got going on? The Gut Busters? So, what is this Gut Buster? Oh, I see now, that's interesting. Okay, so the Gut Buster allows the captain to to the sprint faster in, in some sticky web situation. Coated in a sealant uh, that repel the gooeyest uh, of gunk, you want to be impeded by the sticky path while wearing these boots. I see now. Okay, well that that does cost a lot of materials. So yeah, let's not get that. Okay, so you know what? We can go ahead and get the one called the anti-electrifier. Because that help us in case we... And can we take electrocution by this electric fence? Okay, so we can go for that full upgrade. And you know what? We, we need to keep Ochi a lot stronger. So yeah, let's go and upgrade the Tough Stuff Plus. And we need to come back later with some more than 240 materials. Okay, so I think we're fine. So, uh, yeah, let's just keep doing what we do best. And let's go ahead and check in with Shepard. So, we, we gotta keep on chain with the Ochi some more. Alright, so let's see what we can we can get for Ochi. Okay, so Ochi can go ahead and carry more but the 100. I see. Okay, you know what? Yeah, so let's uh, learn the bit jump on level 2. So we still gotta keep Oshi a lot stronger. So we only got we only got four left. So we can get the last one for pluck or level three. Okay, well that's far, that's far we can learn. And the last one for learn to heal or level three. So yeah, we we can get that as well. So we go ahead and look at the um the the the, the image the, the 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 game footage. I mean, so Oshi can get. A bit more of his um of his healing, so he'll have a little proportion of healing. Okay, so we can we we can go and require the upgrade if you like. And we got no pup drive. Okay, so we're able to to keep at it. So we're able to 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 get more, but free of the scrubby bone. And that been said and done, so we're gonna go back to continue exploring by talking to Colin. Alright, so we are going to get ready to explore the next region of the cycle. Okay, so it's, um, so Serene Shore is uh, looking pretty good by far. So uh, it's on 83%, so we can come back to Serene Shore later. Because there's nothing we can do in Serene Shore right now. So now here we are heading to Hero Hideaway. So let's say get preparation and start on there. So there's only 86 other treasure and above ground treasure we had to get searching on finding. So yeah, so now let's head to Hero's Hideaway. Alright, so we go and tuck above the, the SSB goal and with the rest of our onion. 
So we go take a launch at Hero Hideaway, and we'll, we'll just keep on having this uh, game roll with the cutscene, and we, we go and watch and see where where all of this this area we, we might as well see called Hero Highway. I mean, we, we go and find out the, the cause around this all whole new area. We go out and explore and finding several more interesting obstacles or puzzles that we can solve around here. So that's uh, something we, we keep at it. I mean, we just uh, gotta keep uh, multiplying more by uh, populating to, to increase our more pitmen. Okay, so now we're witness to encounter some brand new creatures available. So we got more of these armor cannon beetles and everything. But damn, because um, this is such a, a pretty cool house. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. So we are entering to someone's house. Okay, so it's the, the same area from before since the, the first previous uh, episode since we since we uh, play as an Olimar and, okay. and a dog. Collins here. It's a lot like you're safely inside the structure. Based on your current location, we were right to conclude that Captain Olimar is in this area. I found a law that is associated with your exact coordinates. Okay, so this is an unknown area which is said I'm so close to fully repairing the SS Dolphin. The remaining parts that should be here somewhere inside this giant structure that I never seen before. It as if the rules of logic I come to understand may not apply here. I'll have to explore it carefully now. Um, okay, so Olima is uh, way more focusing on exploring more carefully and not getting himself eaten again. Well, it's, it, in case of it, like, not like um, the last creature, the final boss that's going to to, to, to swallow whole Captain Olimar. Let's just hope not for the best that Captain Olimar is fine. And we got one more piece of uh, surprise news. The spaceship uh, we found at the rescue command post is Captain Olimar's. Ooh. After analyzing its uh, flight laws, we can uh, confirm it came up from Hokate. Which I mean we can uh, now chat down Captain Olimar by scent. Before you were set out, I had Oshi memorize any smell associated with uh, the ship, so we might be able to find the castaways. Oi. So I'll find Captain Olimar, Oshi. We're counting on you, Ever Ed. Alright, man. Well, help is on the case now. So let's uh, go and see what we got going on around here. Okay, now, we got here is um, a whole lot to explore around here because I've very like, way too much to do by, by knowing what's uh, new in this place. So uh, let's see. Now we can accompany with the the purple pitman. So uh, we can take the least. No, no, no. Hold on. Now let's undo all of this. Now we do want to take the purple with us. Okay, so we'll take more about the twenty ice, and we'll be taking more about. 20 blue. No, let's keep getting more, more ice pipping just in case. Okay, so we can confirm all of this. Okay, so that is our whole squad. So uh, we're going to do to keep on raising some more blues by destroying one of the color posies. Okay, so one of you blues can get to work on that. While the rest of us are all going to explore and not waste too much time around here. So we'll go and kill one of these creatures. So these are little critters from uh, from the dungeon. So we can take that to to the, the, the blue pippin onion. Okay, so we now still, I mean, we're still on our, our search to the finding brand new treasure around here. And down beneath, I, I think that's one is called the, the Husk Blowhog. That's what they used to call it. So there are only three of them. Okay, wait, what's going on? Yo, what? Okay, so it's it's sniffing the smell. Look, over there. If you had a dog that was running around with that leafling. It looked like it is all alone at the moment. I'll check in and see what the, the voice log says about it. Okay, Martha of the guard dog. Martha has been uh, guarding the outside of the bunker for me while I rest. She's also been gathering up Pitman, though. It's unclear where she's uh, finding them. Either way, I feel so lucky to have Martha by my side in all this. Oh, wow. So, if it's a dog that the Martha mentioned in the log, then that the leafling must be. 
Why, yeah, so that Leaklin is catching Olimar. Well, well, we knew because that Olimar is a disguise as a, a Leaklin all of his time. Okay, so you guys are good. So all you guys are... Okay, so including one purple. Well, still, a purple Pippin got a bun on his head. Okay, so we'll go and clear one of these... Hus... Hus Blowhog... As a group. Okay, so we'll be collecting one of his Ultra Spice. And we'll go and charge on you. Whoa, whoa, what, what are you doing? Okay, so that's Moss. Okay, hold on. So is it even friendly? So why is it following us? Are we allowed to attack it? Okay, well, let's get it to calm it down with Ice Pitman. So what's going on? It's taking over the Pitman. I don't know what the that Dawn intend to do with them, but we need to get them back. I don't care, I mean, let's try attacking it. So we try attacking it, see what happens. Okay, so we had the purple come help out. Alright, get, get, get on, get on. So we're gonna freeze it again. And the purple pitman can go and stun and stun Moss much quicker. So I want to see what happens if we if we defeat Moss. We find out what's going to happen. Uh, no, come back here. Come back here. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. Hold on. Alright, keep going. Keep going. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. How is it still running away? You chicken? Come back here and fight. How is it still running away? We're so close. Get him, Ice Pitman. Okay, so we, let's not lose all, all our purples. Okay, now we we did kill it. And then what happened? So, we get it to the stop. So, is, is that supposed to get it to stop following us? Okay, so we can start this with the purple Pitman. So, we need Rock Pitman for this. Are you freaking kidding me? Stop picking up that crystal rock. Okay, well, that's one way to kill you. Okay, so we can go above sky high. So what we got here, a bolt? So if this be the bunker from the voice log, it seems to be locked. Okay, well this looks interesting. So, uh, what's the code? Yo, what? Okay, okay. Now, I I couldn't possibly understood the code for for no good reason. Okay, well that's a cute little drawing there that someone did do. And yeah, I I cannot tell what the code is, so we're gonna have to come back to that later. That probably might lead us to to the treasure. Who knows? Okay, so we started with purple, so purples are a strong creature that can stun by killing Emperor, not Emperor, uh, Beer Infrat much quicker. Oh, well, hold on. So let's get the, the purple Pitman for this operation. So purple Pitman are good to stunning creatures. And we'll move this uh, base over there. And the rest of you, yeah, so you will go and carry that to the SF Beagle. And the rest of us, so we're gonna go out and explore. And seeing what we, we got to be doing around this whole place. So seeing what we can start exploring. So hold on. So we are... We are abandoning some Pitmen, which is not a good idea. Okay, so we can't have these, uh, these blue Pitmen getting killed by that new creature. So let's all keep our hand to ourselves. So let's not kill the enemies. That's not what we came here to do. Okay, so we're gonna be needing more raw materials. Okay, well that's one way to, to keep your pitmen abandoned because they're gonna get left behind. And underneath, so if you look closely, so there's some some broken action figure of this arm piece that, that we gotta go and analyze that to the SS Beagle. Just to just to make sure. Okay, hold on. Um Oshi, I need you real quick. Okay, hold on. So there are still more raw materials. 
so the rest of you guys can get to work on that. While the rest of us, so we're going to do to the push onward up this trail. And can we go get that? Actually, we can go ahead and knock that pin down now, can we? Okay, I believe you can. So the rest of you two blues can carry that. And we've done the same thing from before, so we go ahead and knock that piece of the spatula beneath it. And yeah, so I only got five of my blues, so the, the, the two of you can carry that. Okay, and what we did encounter is another bit of armor cannon beetle. Would look to be like, like it, so now whatever it can do. Okay, so now it can shoot a boulder right out of it. So we've done this stuff from before, from Pikmin 1. So we hit the, um, the nose part of it. And it go ahead and open the hatch. So we can start by freezing it with the, the eye Pitman. Which works for our advantage point. And the rest of you purple can help out too because it, it works much faster. Okay, so let's make sure we have all our group. And we'll go use the, the blue Pitman for this. Okay, do your worst. Okay, and we go and freeze it with the ice Pitman. Alright, keep going, keep going. Alright, so you all go freestyle, so the purple Pitman can attack much faster. Okay, so you guys are doing amazing. I'm proud of you guys. So we only got half daytime. Okay, and the blue Pitman took sacrifice. Whoa, whoa what? You gotta be joking. Yeah, so uh, you open wide. So that we start attacking you. Okay, so did drop a, a treasure. So one of you I Pitman can start by carrying this beatball. And the rest of you purple can carry that armor cannon beetle. Alright, and the rest of us, so we're all going to to move on to our objective or whatever we need to be doing for our objective. Okay, so what we got going on here is these ladders that you guys start building. So we do have enough raw material. So let's get equipment to start by working on these ladders. Okay, so we're going to cancel this. So we want to know what's up there. So let's say get each uh, ice equipment on flowers. Okay, so we want to get them up to speed. And wait a minute, so there's plenty more nectar. Okay, so keep getting your nectar. Okay, so we'll, so the rest of us, so we'll, we're going to, to head on back. And you know what, so there's uh, one of these blue bags having, having struggle or difficulty time of curing that enemy. And that blue pigment is, is trying, well we got three of the blue pigment we're, that we're trying to carry that good infrared. Okay, so uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and check in with these guys. Alright, so these purple pigment are still taking their time there. Okay, and up there, so uh, we, we we must try to do something by by having equipment reach sky high to the not damn that treasure. So Ochi can't come along with us, so only our squad of Pikmin. Okay, so that's a new enemy. Okay, so why don't you guys attack this guy? Wait, wait a minute, so why is he eating a Pikmin? Okay, but it did eat an ice Pikmin, that's not good. Okay, well, well that's one way to attack the soft spot. Okay, so wait a minute, are we allowed to attack that gold piece of material? Okay, let's go do that. Okay, well that thing got to destroy and then because someone got here is um it's a cool new feature of that TV there. That that does quite make to me. Okay, well, I'm, I'm not going to attack along with Dungeon right now, so it's a best in luck because uh, we, we come back to this spot later because we only, we're only almost down to to only 30 minutes of the, the daytime there. We only got 30 minutes of daytime, so let's, uh, let's make this quick. 
Okay, now we're able to find out where this uh, this next cave will take us to the next dungeon. Which we uh, couldn't possibly tell what, what lie below it. Okay, so take a look at where we are now. So we did find out where the dungeon is. So there's one of the dungeon. Okay, so there are several more and more of these treasures that we gotta go find around here. Okay, so we'll, we'll start by plucking the blues, if you like. And the rest of us, so we're gonna keep on exploring. So if there's something, someone hiding in these pots. Okay, so that's another of these creatures that we gotta go kill. So we gotta watch out because that thing can eat Pitmen. Okay, so we take that thing off and then we start by attacking it quickly. Okay, so that's one way to get free nectar. So why don't you guys try to get the nectar? Okay, so what's over there? Okay, well that, that looks kind of new. Okay, so everybody on Ochi. Oh, actually, no, that's fine. Well, everybody off on Ochi. Well, I, I don't, th I don't think it's the best time to ride on Ochi right now. So let's get some more helpers. Yeah, so go help out your team. Okay, well, I just uh, tucked Ochi in there to help out with the pitmen. Yeah, because that uh, digging spot area of the tunnel looks by far pretty, pretty weak to the dig. I mean, it it does take a whole lot of work for you pitmen to start by digging. So how long you pitmen are gonna be done in in there? So how long did it take for you pitmen to to dig under? Come on now. Yeah, I wish they can dig a lot faster than that. Okay, so that's all 80 of our squad. Okay, so how in the world are we supposed to get up there? Okay, well you know what, it, that just take us to to where we left off. Okay, because there are a whole lot of treasures everywhere. And I couldn't possibly tell what the code is. So can I... No, I don't think I could. Okay, so uh, Moss is okay now. Okay, well there's no point in messing with Moss right now. So uh, it's best to ignore that. Okay, so why is it coming to us? Can it leave us alone? Okay, so why is it messing with us? Okay, well just ignore that. Just ignore Moss. No Moss, I don't have time for you right now. I don't have uh, the moment of time to waste. Okay, so let's not uh, go back and solve the uh, the ritual. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out what the code is. Okay, so we just want to make sure it's correct. Okay, so are we allowed to create it in the right size? Uh, how in the world does that work? So, are we supposed to get it down to zero? Hold on, hold on. I'm not entirely sure what the code is. Who will understand the code? Well, that is far by tricky. Okay, well, we could just keep us exploring for a little bit. Because uh, we are... We, we are done here in Hero Hideaway. Okay, so we can come back to the Hero Hideaway every time we like. And run into Moss again. Which is all of our pet. And yeah, so let's go ahead and hit this button. So this green button, so that go and burst me up this... This way. So we're standing on this uh, couch. So we are not losing that much Pikmin. Okay, well, that was going to be fun. Well, we we, we did uh, have a, quite a, a blast time of going into the 
the um, the family room, just uh, going out to seek into the fine above ground treasure, and we're able to encounter another of the armored cannon beetle, or was it something new of it? Okay, well, I'm not I'm not necessarily sure if that the um the the different type of design of the armored cannon beetle from from the first Pitman game. Okay, so we rescued no captains. So we're able to pick up three treasures. Okay, so it's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, well, we have a pretty good good day so far. So this is here is a Peacemaker, a combo bot. Okay, so I think it's a, it's another of this uh, Easter egg from a Pitman 2, I think. And the guy here is a Shooting Star Shield and the uh, Divine Balloon. Okay, well, let's keep it up. So we're able to get it all 1%. Okay, well that's a whole lot of work to, to be done around here because uh, there's like way too much to solve puzzles around here in Hero Hideaway. So Captain Olimar is from Hokute, isn't he? I hear that that plant is quite well known for its vegetables. Apparently they're very indescribably delicious. It's always been a dream of mine to one day eat a genuine Hokute golden pit, pit carrot. But they're so expensive, I haven't had the right to occasion to justify it. Uh, yes. Golden pick the carrots. Just uh, talking about them brings me back into Mother's Kitchen and her amazing cook. She to blend them up in a mixer until they were liquefied, nutritious of delicious and extremely efficient for consumption. She took all of the beautiful, expensive carrots and made juice. Does that even count as cooking? Okay, now I couldn't possibly tell what the code is, so you discover a lot bunker. There must be a clue somewhere tell, uh, telling us where to define the, the, the code that open it. I mean, yeah, let's uh, pinpoint that. Oh, I see, you use a pin. So then I guess I don't need to tell you that it is, it's as easy as selecting a mission and pressing A to pin it and unpin it. Yeah, well, we already explained the detail of what you just said by that, Colin. Okay, so we can go pin that. So that's, that's by far we, we had to... To get situated here because we had to know what the, the code is in order to open the safe. Alright, so here we go here we go now in rescue mission day twenty-two. So um are we gonna get a word from Colin or Well I don't know yet. I uh, I may not know. I mean we do need that code. Okay, so we have to find the code to the bunker. Okay, so that's something we can uh, find out later on the next series, you guys. So you don't go anywhere, and you will be particularly on stay tuned on the next series. So next time on Pitman 4, we're going to head on back to Hero Hideaway and continue on by by, by uh, collecting as uh, many above ground treasures, including the one from beneath of uh, the dungeons. So that we're going to have to wait on the next series. So if you're enjoying the episode and you want to see more of Pitman 4, be sure to leave an advertise, a like, share the video, and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, ring the notification bell so that you can stay up to notified when the news and awesome videos have on your way. So that's going to be all it for Pitman 4. We'll be picking up more on the next one. So take care, guys. I hope to talk to you on the next video.